An undeniable truth about the keyboard hobby is that smaller form factors have taken over the scene, with so many options within a wide range of price points. And other than some newer lines like the Keychron V and Q series, full-size boards just aren't very common, making it difficult for consumers to find exactly what they're looking for. However, a company called Monsgeek has been making waves in the keyboard space, with CNC aluminum boards that look, sound, and feel premium at prices as low as $100. Hey guys, I'm Simulator Tech, and today I'm taking a look at the M5, a full-size aluminum gasket-mounted keyboard that much like its different size siblings, like the M1, 2, and 3, offers ridiculously good value for what you're getting. This board comes in at $130, which, although higher than the $100 to $110 the other M-series boards come in at, makes sense considering the size and the amount of aluminum required per unit. Upon opening up the box, this board comes with all the same accessories as the other M-series boards. Here is the keyboard itself. My unit is purple and it looks really nice. Also, this thing is freaking heavy! Built, it weighs over 5 pounds, which is just ridiculous. This board also has those distinctive side accents associated with Monsgeek keyboards. But on this color, the accents are actually silver rather than brass, which I think looks really good. Inside the case is an anti-static sheet, a layer of thin case foam, and a layer of PCB foam, with cutouts for the hot swap sockets and whatnot. Here is the bottom case. This is where majority of the weight comes from, and it's outfitted with a daughter board. Inside the case is the polycarb plate, which has a couple flex cuts, but nothing major. The gaskets are made of silicone, and they just slide over the nubs. After that is the plate foam and PE foam. Finally, here is the PCB. It's 1.6mm thick, and has no flex cuts, which I like to see. Just like its siblings, it has south facing hot swap sockets, per key RGB, support for PCB mount stabs, and VIA and QMK compatibility. First of all, I will be using the PE foam for that marbly sound signature. I also wholly modded the stabs and lubed the stems and wires with 205G0. Next, on goes the plate foam and the polycarbonate plate. For switches, I'm using some Akko V3 Cream Yellow Pro switches. I absolutely love these. They're some of the smoothest and cleanest sounding switches I've ever used. They're pre-lubed and they literally cost $9 for a pack of 45. I can't recommend them enough, and I would highly recommend using them unless you don't like clackier sounding switches. For this build, I applied the tape mod rather than the PCB foam. Since the switches tend to lean on the clacky side, I think the tape mod will help bring the frequency down just a little. I also used the force brake pads provided to eliminate any potential pinging from the top and bottom cases. In goes the thin bottom foam layer. Finally, I'll be using the Cinemaroll OPI keycaps from Akko. These are super cute and are a very tall profile. They're dice of PBT and are very thick as well. Also, the footage is a little overexposed, so uh, my bad on that, but now that we're done, let's see how it sounds. It sounds really good. The tape mod in tandem with the tall keycap profile gives the board a very poppy sound signature, while well, the switches keep it from sounding too moody. I really like the sound signature, but if you want something thawkier, then I would recommend maybe like KTT King Whites or Gateron Black Inks. For those who want a clackier build, definitely avoid the tape mod and any tall keycap profile. Instead, I would stick to cherry profile and get long pull switches like these cream yellow pros. So overall, is this board worth it? 
just like its M-series siblings, it's absolutely worth it for those looking for an aluminum full-size keyboard that won't absolutely wreck your wallet. The only instance in which I wouldn't recommend this board is if you need portability, because lugging around a 5.5 pound hunk of keyboard does not sound fun. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and thank you Monsgeek for sending out the parts. See you guys later. Bye!